Ontario, no craft work. KCRW's Eric Roy. Hundreds of unionized LA workers and their supporters marched outside the airport's Tom Bradley International Terminal around noon today. They are protesting what they call an unsafe practice by some airlines of hiring what they say are reckless contractors who take shortcuts in order to save money. There have been no reports of any arrests or problems, any airport delays because of today's protest at that international terminal. Cerritos Community College in Norwalk has agreed to settle a lawsuit that charges its trustee electoral system discriminated against Latino voters. As part of that settlement, the college said today it's going to pay $55,000 to cover attorney's fees and costs for the three voters who filed the suit. The suit filed on behalf of the voters asked for $140,000. Now, in a statement, the college says it believes the plaintiffs were not entitled to any money, but they did agree to settle rather than incur any more legal fees. 405 at 89.9 KCRW. Support for NPR comes from Progressive Insurance, helping people shop for car insurance at 1-800-PROGRESSIVE and at their website, progressive.com. Support comes from LACMA, presenting a free 24-hour screening of Christian Markley's The Clock from noon on March 24th to noon on March 25th. Cold from thousands of moments in cinema and television, this hypnotic montage depicts the passage of time down to the minute in real time. Hailed by the New York Times as gripping and ceaselessly moving, the clock is not to be missed. For more information, visit blackmuck.org. Mostly sunny for the rest of the afternoon with average highs uh, low 70s today. Tonight's a little low 50s and then tomorrow clouds. A little cooler, highs in the 60s. 66 now, downtown Los Angeles at 406. From NPR News, this is All Things Considered. I'm Robert Siegel. And I'm Audie Cornish. In this part of the program, the sway of election year politics on two key policies, energy and health care. We'll start with energy. The national average for a gallon of gas rose to $3.88 today. If the price hikes continue, they could become a political liability for President Obama. This afternoon, the president told right supporters now. in Columbus, Ohio, the best way to fight high gas prices is with a mix of policies. Pump more oil, build more efficient cars, and develop more alternatives. So as I'm our president, America's going to be pursuing an all-of-the-above energy strategy. Yes, we'll develop as much oil and gas as we can in a safe way, but we're also going to develop wind power. Today's speech wrapped up the president's energy tour that also took him to Nevada, New Mexico, and Oklahoma. NPR's Scott Horsley has been riding along. The tour was designed as a point-by-point -point defense of the president's energy policies against criticism that's ratcheted up along with the price of gas. Most of the stops were in political swing states, but this morning, the politics are as red as the muddy soil. Visiting a pipeline storage yard near Cushing, Oklahoma, Mr. Obama passed a group of protesters holding signs that read Keystone, yes. Here, as at other stops along the tour, Mr. Obama confronted the criticism head on. This whole issue 
Yeah, all-time record for shit still being in the road. Hurrah. 